Hello everyone. You are watching Classify World, the channel that cares to compare. In this video, we have compared two well-developed countries of the world, the United States of America, USA, and China. The United States of America is one of the biggest and wealthiest countries in the world. The U.S. was discovered by Columbus in 1492. USA is located in North America and is a federal republic of 50 states, a federal district, five major self-governing territories, and various minor island possessions. On the other hand, the People's Republic of China, simply known as China, is located in East Asia. Currently, China is governed by the Communist Party of China, which was founded in 1921. China has 22 provinces, five autonomous regions, four direct-controlled municipalities, and two special administrative regions of Hong Kong and Macau. Today's video compares these two countries in detail, based on several factors ranging from their area, space agencies, to their military power. Let us begin by talking about the gross domestic product or GDP of these two countries. In 2020, America's nominal GDP was 21.439 trillion US dollars and it was the largest country in the world in terms of nominal GDP. China, on the other hand, ranks globally as the second largest with a nominal GDP of 14.14 trillion US dollars. The GDP growth rate of USA is 1.8%, while the GDP growth rate of China is 9.2%. Comparing the countries by GDP per capita, USA is at 47,662 US dollars, whereas China's GDP per capita is 10,099 US dollars. Talking about their currencies, the United States dollar is the currency of USA, while the renminbi is the official currency of China. A good way to comparatively visualize these countries is to analyze their total area. The U.S. is spread over 9,833,520 square kilometers and is the third largest country in the world. Washington, D.C. is the capital, and New York City is the largest city of the United States. On the other hand, China has a total area of 9,596,961 square kilometers, making it the fourth largest country in the world. Beijing is the capital of China, and Shanghai is the largest city of China. Let us now compare U.S. and China by their population. The U.S. has a population of 332.84 million, making it the third most populous country in the world after China and India. The population growth rate of the U.S. is only 0.7%. In comparison, China has a population of 1.44 billion people, making it the most populous country in the world. And it has a population growth rate of 0.6%. Now, let us compare the religions practiced in each of these countries. In USA, 48.9% are practicing Protestants, 23% Catholics, 1.8% Mormons, 18.2% Atheists, 2.1% of people follow Judaism, 0.8% Islam, and 2.9% follow other religions. In comparison, China's 73.56% population is atheist and 15.87% practice Buddhism, 7.6% Taoism, 2.53% Christianity, 0.45% Islam and other religions. The cost of living in China is on the whole 40% lower than the U.S. U.S. is one of the most expensive countries in the world. Even though housing in China is extremely expensive compared to similar sized apartment costs in the U.S., transportation, entertainment, and food are all much cheaper in China than in the U.S. Moving on. 
let's talk about the language of communication. Although English is the most commonly spoken language in the United States, there is no official language at the federal level. The top five languages spoken in the country are English, Spanish, Chinese, Tagalog, and Vietnamese. On the other hand, Mandarin is the official and most spoken language in China. The top five languages spoken in the country are Mandarin, Cantonese, Shanghainese, Fuzhou, and Hokkien Taiwanese. Let us now talk a bit about the space programs of each of these countries. United States Space Agency, NASA, stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and it is the largest space agency in the world. NASA's current space budget is 21.5 billion US dollars. On the other hand, China's space agency, CNSA, an acronym for China National Space Administration, is the second largest space agency in the world. CNSA's current budget is 11 billion US dollars. Let us now compare the airports in USA and China. There are 149 international airports in USA, with Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport being the busiest airport in the country. While China has 200 international airports and its busiest airport is Beijing Capital International Airport. Even with respect to the poverty rate, that is, percentage of people that are below the poverty line, these countries are neck to neck. With USA's poverty rate at 12.3% and that of China at 11.1%. Let's see how these countries compare according to fertility rates. United States has a fertility rate of 1.87 births per woman while China has a fertility rate of 1.6 births per woman. When we compare the life expectancy in both these countries, we find that in the United States, it is 78.69 years, while in China, it is 76.34 years. When we analyze the unemployment rates in these countries, we find USA has an unemployment rate of 8.1%, while that in China is 3.97%. Despite this, the HDI or Human Development Index is very high for both these countries. USA ranks fourth in the world with an HDI of 0 0.939, whereas China ranks 85th in the world with an HDI of 0 0.758. Are you curious to know how many billionaires live in these countries? Well, USA ranks first in the world with 585 billionaires, while China ranks second with 476 billionaires calling it their home. Let us now peek at the military budget of these two countries. USA has the largest military budget in the world at 730 billion US dollars. China too spends a lot on its military with a budget of 261 billion US dollars, making it the second largest military budget globally. This reflects in their overall military power, with USA's military power index score being 0 0.0606 and ranked first, while China's military power index score is 0 0.0691 with a rank of third globally after USA and Russia. So. That's our take on the USA versus China debate. Which country do you like the most? Leave us a comment and let us know. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks for sticking with us and watching, and we will see you back soon. Bye!